the beautiful voice of Renee Fleming. And uh, Mozart Marriage of Figaro Voice Sapete there, getting us started. And uh, playing a little opera because we have some special guests in studio. Juliana Lassiter, who uh, recent graduate of Eastside High School, who will be performing at the uh, Atlanta Opera High School Opera Institute Spring Performance. That is this Sunday at 4 p.m. at Morningside Presbyterian Church. And we also have Walter Huff, who is a longtime chorus master for the Atlanta Opera. Welcome, guys, to The Voice of the Arts. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great to be here. Uh, Juliana, I would like to start with you and just um, ask you how you got started. How did you find your voice? How did you, when did you realize that um, you didn't just like singing, that you had power behind your voice? Well, my family's always been very involved in the arts, and my older sister loved Phantom of the Opera. So there I am. I'm about 10 years old. The movies come out. I'm singing along, and one day my mom realizes that I'm not, I don't have the music playing, that that was just me. And so that raised some uh, questions on, well, I guess Juliana's a singer. And I started taking voice lessons, and I've done shows all the way through. How, how, around how old did you say that was? Uh, about 10. About 10? With the singing, but voice lessons didn't start till I was about 12. Wow, that's so cool. And uh, you've been taking place, in, uh, along with a lot of other students, um, uh, from high schools all around Georgia and Atlanta mainly. Um, in a long, it's been like about an eight, eighth month long process that you've been going through? Yes. Could you tell the listeners a, l- a little bit about what that's entailed? Well, this is my second year, so I didn't have to go through the audition process again. But you audition for the entire faculty of the program, and they select who they want. It's not like, well, we're only going to take four sopranos. They take who they want to work with. And you get in, and while they really learn about your voice, you sing songs for them, and then they pick the songs that are going to be the best thing for your voice at the time. So you're assigned pieces, and then you start learning them, and you start working them and getting them performance ready. This is a, it's a really important aspect um, to have education on this level, uh, this side of the arts, for youth. And I think this is great, uh, a great opportunity for uh, young artists to perform and to share the talents. Uh, Walter, have you, you've been involved with the Atlanta Opera for a very long time. Has this, has this, uh, bit, this project been going on, the, the, the youth performance? Has this always occurred, or is this kind of a new, new thing? Definitely new. It's in our, we're in our fourth year now. And uh, Emily Iden Hackshaw, who is our director of community engagement, started to have an idea about how can we involve high schoolers who are interested in singing. And through some thinking and some discussions, we got it down to this kind of form, where it is a long-term training program for classically oriented high school 10th and 11th and 12th graders. I think it's really important for any creative student of that age to have a group that understands them. And it is very rare (laughs) for someone who might be interested in opera and classical singing to have a kind of club yeah, that you you're not can really talk, like you know? Hanging out in the cafeteria <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I love singing opera after school. Oh, me too. Let's go sing. Was it, was it really fun meeting uh, other students that were interested as well, Juliana? It's so great. Like, you can say, oh, well, I like this soprano. Oh, really? Ugh. Oh, that aria stinks. That's it's right. So yeah. <laughs> and as you say, it's not usually your your typical high school conversation <laughs> at, at school. So it actually is very interesting to see them get to know each other. They all take private voice, but they get to know each other from YouTube to recordings to going to the Met at the movies or things like that. It's kind of they learn from each other and it can become a little opera club. Plus what I really think is so important is that for someone who is really interested in pursuing a career in opera, it's a test to see, is this for me? Because we, we really treat them seriously in this training program. Uh, we treat them with tender care, but we also treat it as a serious process. And so, so some may become very enthused about this, and some may say, you know, physics sounds really good to me. Mm-hmm. And that's totally okay. It's actually better at this point to figure that out for yourself than later on down the road. But what we feel very happy about is that we've had so many great students go into very important music schools, um, and they are still there. (laughs) They are still there and doing very well. 
That's great. So, folks, once again, this is the Atlanta Opera's High School Institute Spring Performance. And it's happening this Sunday, that's June 9th, at the Morningside Presbyterian Church. That's uh, right off the North Morningside there. Uh, it's the church with the, the big valley, the two big hills in the front there, and great acoustics in this church. And uh, 4 p.m., it's a free concert. There's 15 high school students from all over Atlanta and Georgia participating. And uh, we're lucky enough to have Walter Huff from the, he's the chorus master for the Atlanta Opera, and Juliana Lassiter, acclaimed opera singer who just recently graduated from Eastside High School. Uh, Juliana, you want to talk a little bit about what listeners are going to hear when they show up on Sunday? They are going to be amazed by what high school students are really pulling out. We're not doing 24 Italian art songs that, you know, every every student that's taking voice lessons is doing. We're doing Mozart, we're doing Donizetti, we're doing Handel. You're going to hear real opera sing like they're performed on the college level. That sounds so great. Um, I'm going to have to get out there. Uh, Walter, what else is happening? And, and Stephen, if I could say something about that, it's very interesting as they come into the program that I get to know their voices and then choose what I think is appropriate for them at that point. We're not going to be doing Aida. We're not going to be doing Wagner. But something that they can do at this age that that is good for their voice and keeps them in good health is with it, that. Is it kind of like choosing? Um, oh, this character in this opera is a is a young person, and I think that this singer will be able to portray that that message that the song it is, is conveying. Fifty percent that, and fifty percent about what is right for their physical voice mm. at the time, so that they. They are, they are singing in a healthy uh, fashion and nothing too big or heavy for them at this point. So it's a, it's a challenging but fun thing to figure out. Juliana, what's your favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite song that you like, that you know that you can nail anytime people ask you to sing? Shaka Lasse is when I'm doing the Sunday is getting to be there. Uh, it just, it's such a fun piece and it, it's not. Marie is not dying of tuberculosis. She's just so spunky. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from Daughter of the Regiment of Donizetti. This is great. Folks, uh, get out there and see these extremely talented singers at the High School Opera Institute Spring Performance that's happening this Sunday at North Morningside Presbyterian. It's uh, 4 p.m. It's a free concert. And uh, Walter Huff and Juliana Lasseter, thank you so much for coming in and being on The Voice of the Arts. Thank, thank you. you for having us. We're going to go out with Biniamma. Wait, here we go. Walter, correct me. Biniamino Gigli? Gigli. Gigli. <laughs> and Osolomio. <laughs>